So it tells you that you're never too old to um, need your mom. <laughs> but um, I went to the conference expecting and I knew I was going to receive. It's so amazing how God's timing is always so perfect. He knew what needed to happen and what and when it needed to happen. On the first night during worship, the Holy Spirit touched Mom and I at the same time. Mom reached over and put her arm around me. I looked at her and we embraced and we cried. It was tears of joy and of healing. The Holy Spirit bonded us together with such an unconditional love, such unity of oneness in the Spirit. I believe that the Holy Spirit did this for me so that I would not only be able to receive from her as an earthly mom, but also a spiritual mom. He bridged the gap generationally. I want to learn from her and all you women that's over 48 years old. I thank God for you. You are not forgotten. You've gone through stuff and I can learn from you and your wisdom. So be intentional and reach outside of your generation. We need you. My heart has always been, Lord, use me to make a difference in people. I want to reach out to the lost. Help me see them through your eyes. I cast up opportunities to share. Lord, show me, speak to me, and let me know. On our way back to the hotel, we stopped to get something to eat. As we were walking towards Alberton, I saw a couple sitting on the ground. I said, hi, how are you? And started walking into the store. The Holy Spirit told me, go talk to them. So I turned back and passed them. The Holy Spirit said, talk to them. So I turned back. I reached in my purse and took out a witnessing chat. I usually keep it in my purse. Yeah. I told them, I, said, I went to them and I said, God knows everything that you're going through. And he cares about you so much. Yeah. I looked into the girl's eyes and I asked, what do you need? She said, food. I said, good, what do you want? She says, McDonald's, that's probably the cheapest. I said, it doesn't matter, what do you want? We ended up going to Smashburger. Her, her boyfriend offered to come help me. To make a long story short, they both attended Easter service with his dad. Amen. I asked him, so did you receive Jesus? He didn't understand. He said, I said, did you say the prayer and ask Jesus to come into your life? He said, no. What do I need to do? I said, I'll pray with you guys. As we were walking back, my mom came to look for me. The both of us were able to lead two of them to Jesus. I told them, you need to go call your dad and tell him that you received Jesus. And ask him what you need to do to take the next steps. Some plant, others water, but it's God who gives the increase. First Corinthians 3, 5, 9, the harvest is ready. Lord, send me. Yeah. I have marked the day. Women's Essential Conference 2014 has changed my life. I'm not the same. I will be intentional. I will run the race that's set before me yeah. to accomplish the plan that my God has for me. It's not by my might nor by my power, but it's by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.